All right, our next speaker is gonna be Mitchell Chandler from the Scripps Institution of, of Oceanography. And Mitch's talk is gonna be entitled The Arteries and Veins of Our Ocean. Mitch. If we think of the ocean as the heart of our climate system, then we can think of ocean currents as its arteries and veins. And much like our arteries and veins transport blood around our body and help regulate our body temperature, these ocean currents, or oceanic arteries, transport water and heat around the ocean and help regulate our global temperature. However, our oceanic heart and its arteries are changing, due in no small part to the activities of us as humans. And much like changes to your heart, arteries, or veins could be damaging to your health, these changes to our oceanic heart and arteries can have negative impacts on the climate system. In order to better understand these changes, we need to make long-term measurements of the ocean. But the ocean is a tough environment to make these kinds of measurements in. Equipment can fail, can be swept away, and marine creatures can grow on this equipment. In my work, an example of which I'm showing behind me here, I overcome some of these measurement challenges by combining different ocean measurements from different observing systems. These include robots that live deep within the ocean, thermometers deployed from ships, and satellites operating up in space. I produced time series from 2004 through to the present. And uniquely, these time series extend all the way from the ocean surface down to a depth of two kilometers, which is about six and a half thousand feet for my non-metric audience members here. <laughs> the length of these time series mean that we can examine changes in these ocean currents, ranging from seasonal changes all the way through to changes over a 16 year period. And for example, in my work, I have found that water in these ocean currents travels faster in the summer months and slower in the winter. And these long-term measurements are important for us to make because after all, if you were experiencing changes to your heart arteries, or veins. I sure hope you'd be getting looked at by a doctor to find out why. So why shouldn't we be doing the same with the heart of our climate system, the ocean? Thank you. 